Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we are having a look at the Centaurian Marshal for Warcry. So first of all I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us a free copy of the Centaurian Marshal to have a look at for this review. Uh, yeah, this is one of the new editions for the new edition of Warcry uh, Heart of Gur. Uh, yeah, it's a big like Centaur Knight guy. Do you see what they've done with the name? Uh, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm really excited to, uh, to to get in this open and have a look what's inside. I've not looked at the sprues yet, but looking on the back of the box, this thing looks absolutely glorious. So we have seen this um, spoil a little bit in the uh, the leaks of the Slaves to Darkness book. Obviously, this thing's got a profile in there. Um, he looks really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in Games of Warcry as well. Um, obviously, Warcry is really nice for Chaos players because you get a lot of love, but I'm hoping in this season that we see some non-Chaos stuff as well. So, in this video what we'll do is have a look at the sprues, we'll have a look at the uh, the rule card for the Centaurian Marshal, and then hopefully by the end of the video I will have this uh, built and hopefully painted as well so we can show off what it looks like. But without further ado, let's crack this open and have a look what we get inside. So, it's a fairly heavy box now. Obviously these come with all the um, the cards and stuff, which is really handy. We'll take the assembly instructions out of the way and have a look at the actual kit first. So, so yeah, a fairly sizeable base on it. And we've got two sprues that don't actually look too bad to put together. So it looks like we've got the main body of the uh, the centaur here. Again, that looks uh, that looks pretty cool. I uh Obviously we're using this for Warcry, but I'm really looking forward to using this for games of um, Age of Sigmar as well. And then the other frame has the rest of the model on here. I don't know this, if this has got alternate weapons. I think Looking at the sprue, I don't think it has. I think it's only got one loadout, but I might be wrong. Obviously we'll see in more detail when we look at the assembly instructions, but yeah. That looks very, very cool. So we'll move that to one side for now. We'll have a quick flick through the instructions and see how this goes together. So, if we open this up, it looks like it's going to be fairly simple to do. So obviously we build up the the main body first, and then we build up the uh, the guy atop it. Doesn't look like it's got any alternate weapon options, so it just goes together in one way. And it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to build either. I think this is going to be quite straightforward. It should be a nice fun one to paint up as well. The um, the heavy metal one has got a really nice scheme on it, so kind of like fleshy colours fade into black for the kind of horse part of it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like in the flesh. Before we look at the assembled model though, what we'll do is have a quick look at the rules for this thing as well. Uh, all the Warcry models, you get the rules included in the box and um, in multiple languages as well. So what we'll do, we'll get the stat cards out for this. So first of all, he is 295 points, uh, 35 wounds, he's a bit of a chunk, uh, but he looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, this guy looks pretty nice. Um, abilities wise, we've got a uh, double, Marshall's net, pick a visible enemy fighter within 3 inches of this fighter from all the dice. On a 3 plus that fighter cannot make move actions or disengage actions this battle round, so it's going to be stuck in combat with it, that's cool. I've got a triple trampling charge until the end of the fighter's activation. The next time this fighter finishes a move action within an inch of an enemy fighter, pick one visible enemy fighter within an inch of this fighter. Allocate number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of this ability. Cool. And then we've got a quad uh, skewer, drag and bludgeon. The fighter can make a bonus attack action with its spear. In addition, if that bonus attack action scores any critical hits, the target fighter moves three inches directly towards this fighter as if they were jumping even if they're within an inch of any enemy fighters. Uh, if the target fighter finishes that move within an inch of this fighter, this fighter can make a bonus action with its club. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this guy looks pretty uh, pretty good in combat. So uh, what we'll do, we'll jump to the future and have a look at the finished assembled model. And here's a look at the assembled Centaurian Marshal. Such a cool model. I haven't quite got him finished yet, but um, a lot of the base colors down and start shading him. Really, really big guy as well. If I bring one of the um, the Legionnaires in for scale, it's a pretty impressive size model. Um, I think people are going to have a lot of fun painting this up. Uh, I'd love to see some um, new centigores or something like that to go alongside him. 
because I think he looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, I uh, highly recommend painting one up just, just for the fun because it is so... I guess he's so unusual compared to some of the other Chaos models that we've seen as well. Um, now, by the time this video came out, in between originally recording the first half of it, uh, I do believe we've got uh, Age of Sigmar rules for this guy up on Warhammer Community as well, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, I think um, he's... Uh, the good thing with the Warcry stuff is, if you're doing a Slaves to Darkness army, a lot of the stuff from Warcry you can just take as part of your um, your army, which is cool. A lot of the, the various kind of war bands and our battle line, obviously this guy is an option you can take too. So, um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I think aesthetically he fits quite nicely with the new Chaos Legionnaires as well, which is really nice. So, yeah, um, what I'll do once I have finished painting him, he's going to have some, like, brass trim around a lot of the metal and um, we'll go in with some highlights and, and detail them up a little bit. Uh, once he's done, I will update the article over on the website with some images, and then, yeah, hopefully soon, we'll see him on the battlefield too. So, yeah, that was a, a look at the uh, the Centaurian Marshal for um, Warcry. Um, we've got another Warcry video up today in the form of the Chaos Legionnaires, who are a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. So, same format as this, we'll look through the box and uh, have a look at the model. So that is available here and I will link it when this video goes out. I've also got a companion piece over on sprucesandbrews.com where I've got some images of the sprues and I'll go a bit more into um, the stats for both Warcry and Age of Sigmar in that post as well. So check that out if you haven't. If you have enjoyed this video, then why not give us a follow? We do lots of these kind of unboxings and reviews and stuff on here. Um, hopefully by October, I'll also have the live stream back on as well, where we're going to do some battle reports and some painting videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, and finally, if you'd like to support the site, we do have an Element Games affiliate link. I will include it in the notes to this, uh, this video. Uh, Use that, you'll support the site and you'll save yourself some money too. So that'd be much appreciated. But yeah, until next time, we'll see you soon and have a great weekend.